Okay, I want you to repeat something with me. Demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Again, demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Again, demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Give me a second, please. So you may say to me, why have I told you to say this three times? Okay. Some people have told me about sometimes they get really sexually excited, turned on to the point where like they have to masturbate, they have to watch porn, they have to have sex before marriage, like they have to because it comes on them really strongly. Or they may say that they try to do different things to get that feeling of excitement out of them so they won't have to masturbate or have sex before marriage or watch porn and stuff like that. And some people have told me that, hey, Kevin, you know, sometimes I see moving shadows, demonic activity, and stuff like that. Demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. That phrase is going to work in all situations, or most. I would say all. So what should you do? Well, we know that God is not going to consider our prayer when we are in sin, right? So we have to repent of our sins before we pray. The only way that we have authority over demons is if we are an obedient servant to God. So if we are consistently sinning, purposely, we are a sinner. God does not give sinners per se authority over demons per se because you have a demon within you. When you are a sinner, you don't have authority over demons because you are working for demons per se. So first, what you have to do, God, please forgive me of all my sins. Repent. Even if you believe that you have done nothing wrong, and let's say that other people can confirm that you have done nothing wrong, even if that is the case, repent anyways. You want to make sure that your life is straight before you try to command any demons, before you try to cast out any demons. I pray that this makes sense. So what should you do when you start to feel sexually excited? Demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. What if you start seeing demons fly around and moving shadows and stuff like that? Demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Repent, then command. Not, compent, not command and no repentance, no. Repent, then command. Repent, then pray. Even if you believe that you have done nothing wrong, if you are really feeling turned on, I know for myself, 
back in the past what I would do I forget what I used to do but I used to do other things to not masturbate and stuff like that like I would fight that feeling which now it worked but it was really hard but now if I feel turned on which happens so much about each day or so even when I don't feel the need to do it or whatever else but anyways when I feel turned on and stuff like that I command the demons to leave and within one or two minutes that feeling of sexual arousal is gone because I know that it is a demon trying to make me feel that way trying to influence me to do some type of sin sexual sin Kevin I have repeated that phrase and I still see that demon or I still feel turned on what should I do faith what is faith let me make this definition really simple faith is blind trust in God blind trust in God so you are believing in God that he is going to do what the Bible says that he is going to do so when the Bible says that God have given you authority over demons you have to believe it even if you still see that demon there after you commanded it to leave we have to understand that God is going to test our faith I know for myself he tests me out so much <laughs> so much man so much it is crazy but hey what can I do I have to obey but anyways let's say that you commanded a demon to leave and you see it or you feel turned on and stuff like that and you still feel that way you have to act like it is already done so you still may see that demon but pay no attention to that demon why because you commanded it to leave if you doubt then what you said to it it's not going to work God is going to test your faith all of us so if you command or speak if you command a demon to leave or say something by faith God is going to test you if you doubt it is not going to work so even if you don't see the results of what you are commanding or what you are praying for, you must not doubt. Even if you see the opposite of what you are commanding for or praying about. So after you commanded those demons to leave and it seems like they have not left, pay them no attention know that they have to leave because God have given you authority over demons I pray that this makes sense I know for myself and things will happen to me where I would be able to see things like with my actual eyes open where I can see shadows moving and stuff like that and what I do, demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. And there are times where I can still see them. So what do you think I do? I stop looking at them. <laughs> I pay them no mind. I stop paying attention to them. And guess what? They leave. Why? Because I did not doubt. 
I pray that this makes sense. Stop paying attention to them after you commanded them to leave. I know this may sound easier said than done. I understand that. But this is what we have to do. We must not doubt, which may sound easier. I mean, easier said than done. Yes, easier said than done. But we must not doubt, because if we doubt what we are praying for, when we are commanding the demons to do whatever, it is not going to work. When I pray, I pray that whatever I am praying about is happening now while I pray, even if I don't see it, even if things don't change that way. As I am praying, I am believing that it is happening now. I am not trusting with my eyes. I am trusting in God by faith that it has to happen. I pray that this makes sense. Faith is not what you see. Faith is not what you feel. Faith is not what you touch. Faith is what you are believing in. Is what you are believing in. Faith is powerful. But you must not doubt. It does not take much faith to do much. It really doesn't. So... What phrase did I tell you all to use? Demons, I bind and cast you all out in the name of Jesus. Give me a second, please. So demons, I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. Use that. Repent, then command. Repent then command not command and no repent no <laughs> repent then command repent then command or repent then pray repent then pray repent then command so if you are going to pray what do you have to do repent first then pray if you want to command demons, what do you have to do first? Repent. God, please forgive me of all my sins. Then command demons I bind and cast you out right now in the name of Jesus. I pray that this makes sense. This has been working for me for about three to four years now. Like, I don't have to masturbate or have sex before marriage because I command the demons to leave. I don't put no ice on my, <laughs> on my, you know, I don't put any ice there or go run and exercise and stuff like that. No, I command the demons to leave. Skip all of that other stuff. I am going to command the demons to leave. So I pray that this makes sense. You have authority over demons when? Once you repent and follow God's rules and regulations. That's it. If I can do it, I am just an, an average guy. An average guy. That's it. There is nothing special about me. <laughs> there really isn't. An average guy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Anyone. God bless.